Hello and welcome back to my corner on the internet. My name is Majita and today's video is going to be me finishing up all of my crafts and projects that I started some time ago now. Or the one that I haven't, you know, worked on for the longest is my macrame project that's been a year of doing a craft and I just never finished it. So I'm hoping to finish all my crafts that are pending today. Um, I have a sewing project, I have a macrame project, and then I have a painting my desert project. So I'm going to start with painting my desert and decorating it. Um, and I'll explain what a desert is. But anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Painting, sewing, macrame, finishing up all of my crafts that are unfinished and laying around. So this <laughs> is my desert. Um, before we get started painting or you know changing it it's just a big gourd uh, like a big pumpkin gourd I got it and I bought my Mbira which I'll show you in a second but um, I thought I would decorate it and make it fun and pretty and me so I'm going to chisel it to make the line more straight I don't know if you can tell but it's a little bit jagged here and here so I'm trying to make it more uniform and then paint it and then have a beautiful desi for my mbira when I'm done. So let me go get my mbira and I'll show you what um, the mbira looks like inside the desi. Here's my mbira. She's beautiful. Um, I don't have a name for her yet. I only know how to play nyunga nyunga mbira so I'm going to start learning this mbira which goes by the name of Nare Oro. So I'm going to be learning how to play this. Um, I know a little bit of Nemam Sasa kind of. But I don't know how to play it, so I need to learn. Um, but when I bought this Mbira a few weeks ago, um, at the beer gathering that I was at in my last uh, Senna cruise vlog, if you watch that, I bought this Mbira and she's absolutely amazing. And I got this Deze as a gift. Um, thank you for gifting me this Deze. And it's beautiful. But yeah, it's just a big gourd, probably a big pumpkin gourd. Um, and so I'm going to shape it, paint it, and then maybe put some jewels and bottle caps on it to make it beautiful. Um, so yeah, once this is done, it'll be beautiful. And then I'll place my Mbira right in here, like so. And then it'll be amazing. So let's see the transformation from this to this. <laughs> Okay, let's get right into it. So I have a chisel and I'm going to use that to file down the desi until it is um, more uniform. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to attempt and see what happens. This is um, not working like I thought it would. Maybe this board's fine the way it is, I guess. It doesn't look like I'm doing much with this chis uh, chisel. So maybe I'm gonna give up and just paint it and leave it kind of oddly shaped. That's part of its beauty, I guess. So we're gonna leave it the way it is, because this is not, I don't think it's doing much. Maybe I'll do little by little in the future to make it more uniform, but for now, we just need to paint this bad boy. I have some paint brushes here. I have some brown paint, burnt umber, I think that's how you say that. It's just some matte paint and some pink and some tan. So let's get painting. I got inspiration from these daisies that I saw on the internet. I honestly don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm being honest. I hope this is not a mistake. Fingers crossed it's not a mistake. I hope my vision comes out 
the way I think it's going to come out. There is another beer gathering happening tomorrow in Santa Cruz again, as you saw if you watched my Santa Cruz and San Francisco vlog. But I won't be able to make it because um, I would have to come back on Monday, which is a, a work day. So last time when I went, it was Labor Day, so I could stay over and spend the day there, but I won't be able to make it this time. That's okay. I'm sure there will be more events to go to. So instead, I guess I'm going to paint my beze and learn Bira here by myself this weekend and be there in spirit. It looks like a glazed donut. Oh my gosh, I kind of love this. This is so fun. It really does look like a glazed donut. <laughs> Maybe I should make this the thumbnail. People are like, what is this? What is this giant gla glazed donut? That's what it feels like. A giant chocolate glazed donut. I guess I don't have to finish all my unfinished um, projects today. I could split them up into several different videos. So maybe today will just be a painting my desi day decorating my desert day and next weekend I can do my sewing projects and then the following weekend I can do my macrame that's been sitting there for a year and a half so if you don't know what mbira is mbira is an instrument um, and I'm from Zimbabwe and I know it from Zimbabwe, it's a Zimbabwean instrument. And I played the Nyunga Nyunga Bira, which has fewer keys than the Nare, or also known as Bira Zawa Zimu Bira. So I just, I really wanna learn how to play the Nare Bira and the Bira Zawa Zimu version, since I, I think I know the, um, you know, Nyunga Nyunga pretty well. I'll post some videos of me learning how to play as I, as time goes on. So, yeah, this is looking pretty good. It's dry now. Ooh, it looks so good. It looks so good. So I think we're ready for the next step, which is going to put some decorations. I'm going to do some pink and alternating pink and tan dots. That's so pretty. So it looks like my Deze is dry and it's ready for uh, the clear acrylic acrylic sealer I hope this works I don't I didn't really do the research needed to know if this will work but I'm going to try and see so it's the following day and I let the desert dry so you can see it's shiny and glossy and now I'm just making some holes um, so I can add the bottle caps um, I'm not sure why exactly deserts have bottle caps I think it's to add texture to the sound of the music but also um, they also work for decoration so at this point I'm putting all the bottle caps and yeah this was one of my favorite parts of decorating my desi so stay tuned so it's time for the final reveal of the desi after painting sealing the paint and adding the bottle caps and here it is it turned out so well i'm so proud of myself i kind of had a rough idea of what i wanted to do but wasn't sure how it would turn out and it turned out pretty good i don't know if i need to let it dry a little bit more because some of these parts seem like they need more 
drying but it turned out so good so I'm going to add my mbira inside the deze so let's see what that looks like here is my mbira and I'm just placing it inside like so and securing it with the stick and voila there it is i'm so proud of myself this is so good it looks amazing it looks so good i'm going to show you an up close version of it I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's so pretty. It's so me. I'm so glad I did this. Um, it was such a fun project and it is one out of three of my projects done. I had really high goals of completing all my pending projects, but at least I got one of them done. Maybe next weekend I'll do the sewing project and then finish the macrame project. But this was so fun. Um, I still don't know how to play this Mbira since you know I only play I've only played Nyunga Nyunga um, I know a little bit like I did earlier in the video a little bit of Nemam Sasa something like that so hopefully in the next video when I'm uh, playing this Mbira I'll be further along with that song but I'm super proud of my um, there's a design skills um, this turned out really well for my first attempt now I kind of know what to do um, I need to figure out if there's better ways to do this uh, but for this being my first attempt I'm pretty happy with it and I hope you enjoyed watching me figure it out um, as far as how uneven it is around the edge I think if I could find someone who has a power tool to level this because the chisel is just going to take too long but if I can find someone with a power tool that can shave this down for me into a more uniform shape then that would be so great but I still love it just the way it is and I'm I'm so happy that it came out this great I'm like so proud of myself <laughs> I didn't think it would be this um, great but pretty much my idea came to life so I'm happy about that so yeah stay tuned for more Mbira videos as I um, explore this Mbira Zawadzi Mbira um, and learn how to play it and I'll be sharing some of my songs that I am learning so yeah thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one